Welcome to Things and Stuff. Today we're going to talk about the festival of Beltane or May Day. Beltane's earliest recorded origins come from Ireland, from the Sanus Cormac and the Tochmar Camir. There it's stated that Beltane was the beginning of summer, that it was celebrated on the 1st of May and that it was a fire festival. The word Beltane actually referred to the fire itself and meant lucky fire. What we know of its earliest origins is that a fire or two fires were lit and cattle were driven between it or around the fire or made to jump over the fire or the embers. This was supposed to bring luck and protect from disease. The reason for doing this is that the beginning of summer was also the time that you took the cattle out to their summer pastures. This was the time when they were at great danger from predation and from disease. Modern Wicca took the idea of celebrating Beltane from two main sources. The first was a book by Margaret Murray called The Witch Cult of Western Europe. In it she states that the witches of Western Europe celebrated four main festivals. The festivals we now know as Imolk, Beltane, Lammas and Samhain. However, she refers to Beltane as Rudmas or Walpurgisnacht. She actually calls Midsummer Beltane. The other book that was very important was The Golden Bough by James Fraser. In it he has lots of instances from Scotland of Beltane folklore in which he states and quotes various references as to what was celebrated. Some common things that come up are fires being lit and considered lucky, also a Beltane cake being baked which would be handed out to people, one piece being marked. The person who got the marked piece became a scapegoat and was symbolically sacrificed for luck. Another tradition he mentions is that of dousing all fires on the eve before and then relighting fires new from the Beltane fire. The Beltane fire was originally lit in a very specific way. It was what was called need fire or forced fire, which meant rather than being kindled from the embers of an existing fire, it was made new using friction. They would take oak wood usually and create a large wooden contraption in which the friction from one piece of wood against another would start sparks which would then be kindled into the fire. A number of people were needed to turn the pieces of wood and often numbers three and nine were important. For instance, three times three people or three times nine people for a larger one. The fires didn't just bless cattle, although they were kept going by cattle herders to the last. They also blessed people and people would walk around the fire mumbling prayers or they would jump across it in order to bring luck. When the fire was high, young men would jump across it. When it got lower, women would then jump across, hoping to bring husbands or to make pregnancies easier. Children were even carried across it for good luck. It was considered that this also protected against witches or fairies. Transitional times were often considered dangerous, with witches or fairies being the main danger. Beltane was the transition into summer, therefore protection was required. As well as jumping over or walking around the fire, many people also made protective crosses or protective wreaths from rowan trees, which were considered to protect from both witches and fairies, which were often interchangeable in places like Scotland.
The other set of traditions that contributes to Beltane in modern Wicca is that of the English May Day traditions. That tradition was the bringing in of the May, and it was found across England and also in parts of Scotland. People would go out on the morning of May Day and bring in garlands of flowers and also leaves and branches to decorate themselves, to decorate their houses and their churches and to carry through the streets. It was called the bringing in of the May. There would also be feasting, parties and promenades through the streets. A common wood to bring in was that of the hawthorn tree, hawthorn branches, leaves and flowers. However, in areas influenced by the Beltane rituals, such as up in Scotland, Hawthorne was considered unlucky to bring into your house, as it was the fairy tree, and it would be bad luck and bring the curse of the fairies to bring it inside. So it was more often used in England, where it's known as the May tree. written origins of the maypole come from the 1300s where a birch tree was used. People danced around the maypole and generally used it as a congregational area to mark out where things were happening. The maypole is found right across Europe and it's usually decorated with flowers and ribbons and painted. It may symbolise a world tree of some sort as tree worship was common across Europe but we'll never really know. Later additions to the English May festivals were symbols such as the May Queen or the Jack in the Green. Modern Wicca, one of the most important things to look at at Beltane is fertility and the sacred marriage. This makes sense. The Beltane festivals were originally for cattle herders. The May festivals in England were probably from an agrarian society. Since we neither farm animals nor grow crops anymore for the most part, it makes sense to look at human fertility and sexuality rather than that of animals or trees. If you want to celebrate Beltane this year, a few things you might want to include are bringing in flowers or branches, particularly in the colours of green, red and white, using the numbers 3 and 9 which occur across the Beltane festivals in Ireland and Scotland, dressing in green, focusing on fertility of plants, animals and people, thinking about the sacred marriage of the god and the goddess, the goddess in her form as maiden and the god in his form of a young man. You may want to bake some sort of cake that can be set out equally between people with one piece marked out as special, although whether you want to use this to mark out a ritual scapegoat and enact some sort of symbolic sacrifice in order to bring about prosperity, or whether you want to use it to pick out perhaps a May Queen, is up to you. Fire is obviously very important, and if you're outside you might want to light some sort of bonfire, but do take all the precautions necessary and make sure you have an easy means of dousing it. And remember that, above all, you're welcoming in the beginning of summer. I'd like to finish off by reading a piece of work by Rudyard Kipling. This poem, called The Tree Song, is often used in Wiccan gatherings around this time of the year, although I'm reading the original version and the words are usually slightly changed. Oh, do not tell the priest of our plight, or he would call it a sin. But we have been out in the woods all night, a conjuring summer in. And we bring you news by word of mouth, good news for cattle and corn. The sun is coming up from the south by oak and ash and thorn. Sing oak and ash and thorn, good sirs, all on a midsummer's morn. England shall bide till judgment tide by oak and ash and thorn. As you can hear, there are a few bits in there that would obviously be changed. The text refers to midsummer's morn rather than Beltane morn. There's a huge mix-up between festivals around this time of the year, as welcoming summer in is a very weather-dependent thing. For instance, this year, summer pretty much happened around spring equinox. In the past, when they had hard years, summer might not have appeared until midsummer. Also, it mentions Judgment Tide. Almost everything has a little bit of Christianity in it somewhere when you're looking at literature. 
This obviously is taken out when used in Wiccan rituals. Oak, ash and thorn are good trees to look at at this time of the year. Two of them we've mentioned already. The oak tree was used to kindle the Beltane fire. Thorn, or hawthorn, was the may tree. Ash is a solar tree. It's also a good symbol for the time of year. Thank you.